Okay, so now we're on the outside of your house. And again, note these two holes. Don't drill this hole. For the quick and easy, always earn me drill on the right side from the inside. This is only for an option for the standard unit. Okay, so this plastic was put on here so that these line sets can more easily get through the wall and keep all the drywall dust and things off of them, but it needs to come off so that you can actually do the connection. And sometimes plastic wraps cling, sometimes they don't. These are certainly doing a good job of clinging. All right, the stubs of the indoor unit refrigerant lines are free. And these caps, you have to remove these two. Note that there's a red and a yellow. Um, they, uh, the outdoor unit also has a red and a yellow. So the, and you won't need to know this because there's only one way it's going to work, but the Red from this one goes on the yellow from this one and vice versa. So it's very much foolproof because only screw in one way. So these have to come off. The yellow ones, just pull them off. Red ones twist off. And yeah, it's important to keep these on up to this stage because you don't want to get dust, dirt, other debris in these before you're ready to do this step, okay? So we provided gloves. You can do these by hand. Uh, you can do them by hand with gloves. You potentially could use a wrench to, to rotate this bezel. The problem with that is you'll notice that this quarter inch line set's very vulnerable to kinking, and so you don't want to roughhouse with it with using wrenches. So really, it can be done by hand. That's what we suggest. That's what we recommend. But if you run into challenges, feel free to, to use a wrench as long as you're, you're holding the other side of it firmly in place. So uh, these, they came through the wall straight but they're gonna to have to be probably, to easily be connected, they're gonna to have to be put angled a little bit and create a fulcrum with your hand. You never bend a line set, you massage the line set slowly around a fulcrum and then it's at a good position here to probably to uh, connect. So um, we're starting out with what's in this case gonna be the, the quarter inch Fine. And all you do is screw them together. I probably will put on the gloves. So, one advantage of these, they're steel, so it's they can't be cross-threaded like you would with a copper connector. And that's often a problem with people that are attempting to DIY or even certain level of expertise that if they're putting their line set on the outside unit or inside unit, um, if it's not lined up just right, that creates a refrigerant leak. And these are leak proof. So this is not very compelling video, feel free to fast forward, but these three or four minutes here are the, the brunt of the connection process. So the whole connection of the quick and easy can be done in less than five minutes, and this part of it's probably three or four minutes. So Todd, get in here a little bit, and you'll see there's a black ring in here, and you want to make sure to Screw this in all the way up to that black ring. That's not needed for the seal, but it's a dust ring to keep. You know, this is normally going to be outside. You might have a line set cover here, but um, 
keeps out dust, pollen, bare saliva, whatever the outdoors may uh, will on these things. All right, now see, I'm, I'm working to support the line set here to keep it from kinking. And now if you look here, that's very tight. Okay, so onto the three quarters inch one. Of course, the same way, except it's opposite. So uh, this was, uh, um, this one is uh, boy girl, the other one's girl boy, uh, but that way it's foolproof. You don't have to worry about matching the quarter inch and the uh, three eighths inch. I'm not started. And like I said, it can't be cross-threaded, but it does have to be started right. Okay, so a um, couple advantages of these is you'll notice we're only having to connect this in one spot. Uh, competitive quick connect solutions, A, they require tools. B, they need to be connected in um, two spots, and C, these can be disconnected. You can move your unit to wherever you want, uh, take these on and off. These have been taken on and off probably seven, eight, nine times, and there's no issue with the seals for these. They're very reliable. All right, so three or four minutes later, the inside is now connected with the outside. The refrigerant now can flow. There's nothing else you have to do. This, we provide this with our standard unit. Others don't provide this, but we figure for a um, few cents, we can provide this for the standard unit. It makes your life much easier. You, on a standard unit, you'd have to open these valves. This unit, Everything's already open. You just made the connection and turned everything on. So when you now when you turn the actual do the electrical connections, uh, you'll be done. So we'll get to that next. <laughs>